one big barrier is um, is that how much it can cost to run politically in Nigeria, or two actually, how much it can cost, and you know, there's an age limitation, and I, you know, I support the not too young to run campaign because I think that you know, Nigerians of all ages should be able to represent their communities. We're here today in, in Parliament, and um, you know, if you're walking around, you'll see that most of the the, the paintings, the statues, they're all of men, <laughs> you know, and often, yeah, <laughs> and only dead men, and a lot of them, a lot of them, you know, wearing, you know, 17th century dress, which doesn't really, so nothing feels like it's about sort of women or about, yeah. and I think that's a real, that's a real barrier, but what I'd say to any, you know, woman who, I mean, I'd say two things really, you know, I mean, just, just look at the politicians around you, you can do better than them. You know, they didn't. They they got to. You know, they got into that position through you know a combination of luck, sometimes hard work, but often the privilege of how where they were born or who you know their background. You can do better. Better. You can do better than them. Whatever you know challenges you think you faced in your life, they are part of the reason why you will do better than them because you will be bringing that experience uh, to Parliament. And the other thing you know I would say is that you know things. You know, decisions are made that by those who show up, and unless we take part, unless we, you know, I know I, there are challenges now. It is not a level playing field. It's not open. It's not always fair. But unless we take part, we won't change that. Well, you can watch the full interview with the Labour MP for Newcastle upon Tyne Central, Gion Wura, on our new program, Diaspora Network, which captures the activities of Nigerians that are flying the country's flag outside the country. The program makes its debut today at 7.30 p.m. with a repeat broadcast on Sunday at 11 p.m.